What is the future of crypto? What is the future of money? Where does Bitcoin and the rest of cryptocurrency fit into all of this? And what is happening right now in the world that's absolutely crucial to understand in order to identify opportunity in the markets and where it might be going? All of that in today's video. Nothing I say is financial advice. Hit the like button. Let's get into it, guys. So as we look across at crypto bubbles today, we can see a sea of red. And every day, you know, it might be up, it might be down. But overall, the anticipated move for crypto in general is towards the upside. So why is that? Well, the narrative is that Bitcoin and crypto is solving a problem of centralization. From 2008, when we saw the banking crisis that started in Wall Street in America and then spread worldwide, ultimately it happened because the banks were doing some pretty shady things in order to line their own pockets. And this had a bit of a knock on effect once they got uncovered. So Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin in order to create a ledger technology that was not only untamperable, someone couldn't be able to change it themselves, but also completely transparent so that we could see the trades and things going on. Since then, we have seen a requirement for all sorts of decentralization across various different smart contracts. And that's where Ethereum came in. And now we're seeing the rise of things like Web3 and all sorts of others, which is why we see an incredible array of different cryptocurrencies. Something else that's caused a lot of concern and a lot of people use this as the narrative of why Bitcoin is the future and that is inflation. Eventually, the United States and many other countries around the world, because of the COVID crisis and various other things such as overspending, they are a bit short of cash and the way to create cash is to cause inflation, which means printing more money. This is okay in the short term because it does stimulate economies to grow, but it can be a bit painful if the inflation levels are turned up too high. This means that the average consumer finds it very expensive to go and do their daily shopping. They also, if they have any savings, will be starting to be poorer because the money they've got in their account, they won't be able to do so much with. And this is where Bitcoin comes in. Bitcoin is pretty much non-inflationary. It continues to grow a little bit every day, but there is a limited supply of 21 million, which means the last one will be printed in 2146. This is key because it means that actually now you have control over your money. And this is potentially considering Bitcoin as a digital gold because there can never be more printed and it will therefore hold its value unlike the US dollar and other currencies. However, recently because of inflation, we've seen a massive spike in interest rates from the United States. The hike in interest rates is in order to try and curb inflation. However, a problem with this is it's limiting then the amount of investment capital that's available and people are less willing to invest. Therefore, every time we're seeing the interest rates going up, up, we see the price of crypto going down. We are anticipating that potentially this month we may see the interest rates hiking take a halt and that is extremely powerful because we will see a catalyst move in the crypto market towards the upside if that happens. Now many often ask me what is the future of Bitcoin? Well I think that Bitcoin is still the top cryptocurrency whether it will be or not forever I'm kind of unsure. I think that it's a technology that was definitely needed in the world. However, since 2008, a lot of things have changed. Remember the first iPhone was launched in 2008 and that obviously wouldn't cut it at today's level of technology. I think Bitcoin has served a purpose but could well be potentially replaced in the future. Its transaction speed is not suitable for use as a currency. It does store value, but also weaknesses have been exposed in it recently with the Ordinal's NFT issue causing transaction speed to slow down completely. So whether I think there's a future for Bitcoin or not, I think for at least the next five to 10 years, Bitcoin will continue to see growth. However, there is more opportunity for the average investor in other cryptocurrencies that have smaller market caps. And this could lead to the market for Bitcoin starting to dry up a bit, which is obviously not so promising. Now, many people around the world are calling Bitcoin the future of money and crypto as we know it, the future of money. However, I think this is pretty wrong, guys. The reason for that is governments will lose a lot of control. Governments maintain control through financial systems and they're not going to give away that easily the control to the people through cryptocurrencies, which are fully decentralized. Therefore, I think the use of central bank digital currencies will be the way forward. And that's why I've been looking at projects like Quant, which support the growth of central bank digital currencies. Also, you could look at XLM Stellar Lumens, which is another top pick of mine. Central bank digital currency is obviously issued by the government themselves however is completely cashless and therefore operates in a similar way to another digital currency. However, unlike another digital currency, it's obviously potential for inflation. It also stops things like money laundering and can be completely observed by what's happening in the government. So not so good for anonymous transactions like you might get in other cryptos. Although people are starting to see that there will be a meltdown in the world coming very soon, we have seen a few banks collapsing. I do think we're going to be getting quantitative easing coming in soon where the interest rates will start to 
decrease. Inflation will probably start to increase again, and then we will start to deal with another pre-election cycle where things will start to ease off. You'll also move into the Bitcoin halving cycle, which will happen shortly in the next year or so. And that will be the catalyst that drives the next bull market. Things are looking good for crypto right now. Markets are shifting towards the downside, given the situation right now with the US debt ceiling issue. Let's see what happens to that in the next few days. If things are positive, I think we'll have a good opportunity to load up on crypto. Obviously, that's not financial advice, guys. Do your own research, but you should be buying into the fear and selling the green read as Warren Buffett always says. Hope you enjoyed today's video guys. If you did hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you want to learn more about cryptocurrency, NFTs, gaming, trading and so much more then subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.